Hey, loser. I just wanted to let you know that I just heard from the bank and it sounds like I'm going to get that job after all. I bet that you have got to be so jealous of me right now. Are you? I bet that you are. You don't even have to tell me that you are. I mean, you barely even passed high school. So what are you doing with your life that you have to be proud of anyways? <laughs> so you are going to go and work for the bank after all? I guess it's a good thing that you enjoy doing exactly whatever mom and dad tell you to do. I'm not only applying there because they wanted me to work there. I'm applying there because that's where I want to work too. What do you even know about having a real career, huh? You only have a high school diploma and could never in a million years do the kinds of things that I've done or will do. Wow, you are really hung up on my high school diploma, huh? You must think about that more than even I do. Well, of course I do. You're like a marker on the wall that I can always back on to see how much I've grown. I mean, you're consistent in the way that you never even try to accomplish anything with your life. Why are you being like this to me, Rachel? I mean, we're sisters and I don't like being treated this way by you. Do you really think this is a good way to talk to others? Don't you know that one day all of this looking down on other people is going to bite you in the butt? <laughs> Look down on others? Don't worry, I don't do it to everyone. Only the people that really deserve it. Like you. Aw, see, you are special in your own way after all. And I'm not the only one that looks down on you like this. Mom and dad feel the exact same way. So who am I to go against what they've decided about you? I don't even know why I bothered responding to your text. I knew that you were going to act like this towards me. Well, I am through with this. I don't see any point in keeping up with this conversation. Oh, I see. Well, in that case, I guess I'll just throw away all of your belongings then. What on earth are you talking about this time, Rachel? Well, I just mean that you're the only one in the family who was never ever going to work in a bank. All you do is mope around the house all day doing nothing. Okay, I think we both know that is not true. I do very little moping, thank you very much. I have a job that I enjoy, I work hard, and I contribute a lot to our expenses. In fact, I'm even paying for part of your tuition with the money I give to mom and dad. I know all about how you pay that. <laughs> After all, we're all elite bankers. So why wouldn't you pay for someone as great as me to go to college when the same thing would just be wasted on you? And that point of mine is just proved by the fact that I got this job at the bank. So there. In fact, now that I have this job, it really does just make me realize how useless you are. That's why I'm going to make you move out of the house. You're just not needed around here anymore at all. Of course, I've wanted to do this for a long, long time. But it wasn't until now that I was sure it could work. Are you serious? You're really going to try and throw me out of the house? Well, I'm already dumping out all of your stuff. If you want to make sure it's not all gone, you had better come back home and get it all right now. Well, well, this all escalated really quickly. But, Rachel, I'm just curious if you know just how much money I've put into the house. I mean, even more than our older brother. Out of all the siblings, I've contributed the most to making sure that mom and dad still have a roof over their heads. In fact, I don't know if our brother has even spent a cent of his own money to do anything for mom or dad or, or any of us. And so what? Do you want a medal or something? You've been living with mom and dad, so of course you're going to put money into the house. But think of it this way. You won't have to do that anymore. It's perfect, really. I'm going to cut you off from our family and you won't have to think about us again. You really mean it? You just want me to up and disappear just like that? Of course. Now that I have this job, mom and dad won't be needing your money anymore. So you can just take your things, leave, and then never ever come back. <sighs> I don't even want to have to think about you ever again. I want it to be like you just dropped off the map entirely. I mean, at this rate, it really would just be better for everyone if you did that. Don't you know that you're nothing but a burden to everyone around you? You know, I really didn't think that you would actually ever try to take things so far. But despite all your insults, I've still stuck around to help out the family, including you. But I guess you're not impressed by all of that. So fine, 
If that's what you really want, then I'll just go. And I guess this also means that I can stop giving the family money. Just think about the amazing place I'll get to live with all those savings. That and all the things that I'll get to be able to do, but wasn't able to because of family obligations. I don't care what you do with your life or where you go. You're nothing but a loser and you are never good enough to be one of us. You've never accomplished anything at all. You don't have a boyfriend. You don't have anything going for you. Even after you move out, you're still going to be alone for the rest of your life. Nothing you say is ever going to convince me that you're worth having around. Well, okay then. You say all that now, but I think in a little while you're going to regret all of this. But that's fine with me. If anything, it feels like a huge weight has just been taken off of my shoulders. So just make sure that you keep up your side of the bargain and never ever bother me again, okay? And don't come crawling back to me for help, either. I have no intention to ever help my family after they have been so awful to me this entire time. What in the world do you think you're doing here, huh? I mean, really, have you lost your mind or something like that? You've got some serious nerve even showing your face around here again. Well, who would have guessed that I would have run into my elite banking family at this wedding of all places? Wow, sometimes the world really is a small place, isn't it? I mean, what can you say in this situation except, wow. Don't you act like this is just some complete coincidence that you don't know was going to happen? You snuck into this wedding, didn't you? You must have found out somehow that we were all going to be here and that's why you snuck in here, right? No, I haven't really thought about you or anyone else from the family in a long time. I really am just as shocked as you are. You're a liar. You are lying and I know it. You had to have looked into us or found the guest list for the wedding or something. How else would you have known that we were here? Well, I just explained to you that I actually didn't know that you were here at all. But if you want to know how I ended up here at the wedding, first I received the invitation in the mail, then I RSVP'd to the wedding, and then finally, I showed up today. Oh, please. You really expect me to believe that? You really think I'm going to buy that you were actually invited here? There's no way that that could be. There's no way that any wedding where we were invited would be a wedding where you would also be invited. It just doesn't make any sense. Rachel, is this really how you want to greet your sister after we haven't talked in eight years? Of course not. I would rather not have this conversation at all. I thought that I was never ever going to have to see you ever again. You know, with all that screaming you're doing, you're probably scaring some of the other wedding guests. Can you at least learn how to sit still and keep your mouth shut while you're angrily texting me? I mean, really, it's just a bit rude to the bride and groom, don't you think? I am not going to have this conversation with you, Ashley. I just want you to leave and come back. Right now, okay? I'm sorry, but what makes you think that you have any right to be able to boss me around like that, huh? I mean, do you really think that I'm just going to turn around and go home because you told me to? <laughs> what is that supposed to mean, huh? Besides, you still haven't actually told me why you're here at my wedding. Because there was no way that you were actually invited here. And since I know that you don't belong here and weren't invited, you should just go now. You really have no idea at all what you're talking about, do you? No, you're the one who doesn't know anything about anything. If you did, then you would know better than to show your face in a place like this. Well, okay. If you really want me to go, then I guess that I can. But the only problem is that I'm the CEO of the company where the groom works, so I just hope I don't hurt his feelings. Wait, what? That doesn't even make any sense. What do you mean that you're a CEO? Well, I was invited to the wedding by Harry, the groom, right? I know that it might be a bit hard for you to accept what you're about to hear, but I really don't care because I don't like you. The truth of the matter is that Harry invited me to his wedding so that I could give a speech to honor him. But that doesn't make any sense at all. I don't get how this is happening. I mean, how do you even know Harry? I'm sorry, Rachel, but I literally just finished explaining everything to you. I don't really have time to just talk in circles with you, so I'm just going to go home like you said, okay? I hope you enjoy the rest of your wedding, though. Ashley, are you here? 
Please tell me that you're somewhere nearby right now. You need to come back to the wedding right now. It's an emergency. Wait, what? But I don't get it. Just a while ago, you were telling me about how I didn't belong here and how I needed to leave, right? Besides, I thought you said that you never even wanted to think about me again. It's pretty strange that you're texting me begging to come back now. Oh, just shut up about that. I don't care about what we've said in the past. This is about the here and now. Well, I'm afraid that I've already done as you asked, and I left to go back home. So, what is it that you want from me? Well, when everyone found out that Harry's boss, who was going to give a speech, had gone home, the whole wedding turned into complete chaos. And I think that if I were to try and sneak out of the wedding right now, that people might guess that I was the one who told you to leave. So, as you can see, I am in some serious trouble right now. That is why you have to come back here right now. I'm serious. Hmm, I see. Well, that is a very tough spot to be in, but I think I'm going to pass. Thank you. What do you mean by that? I mean that even if I did come back, since people have already noticed, I don't think it would fix the situation how you think it would. Besides, I think that you need to learn a lesson after the way that you treated me. I'm sure that it's just a matter of time before Harry finds out the truth anyways. Besides, I already told my secretary that I left, so... You told your secretary? Then it really is true, isn't it? You really are a CEO of some company? Yep, that's what I've been trying to tell you this entire time, but you haven't been listening. After you threw me out of the house, I went out and started doing the things that I wanted to do. And that included going out and starting my own business as well. So I worked hard and started from the ground up. I poured my heart and soul into my company, and thankfully, I happened to have a lot of great people who were there to help me along the way. Oh, wait. Harry just announced that they were going to postpone the wedding in light of all that's going on. Oh, really? Wow. I can't believe that actually would do something like that. Of course, most of the employees are quite familiar with my personal background and family problems. What do you mean? Why would you tell all your employees about that? What kind of CEO would even do that? Well, when I was trying to recruit people to come and work for me, I had to give them a vision to believe in, right? So I told them about how my family threw me out for not conforming to their sense of elitism and that I went out to start my own business. I think a lot of people were really inspired by what I had to say, and Harry was one of those people. So I think that when he puts it together that he invited members of my family to his wedding that I went missing from, well, I'm sure you can do the math. But don't you see how I'm going to get into a lot of trouble for this? I mean, if anyone finds out that we're related and that I was the one who chased you off, then that's going to be really, really bad for me. The wedding won't just be postponed, it'll be cancelled. Yeah, it sounds like it might come to that, actually. <laughs> This isn't a joke. This is serious. This is my life, okay? What am I supposed to do right now? You have to do something about this. You have to set everyone straight, please. You're really coming to ask me for help right now? What is it that you even think I could do for you? Well, I mean, you could come back and tell everyone at the wedding that I had nothing to do with this at all. But that isn't true. You did have everything to do with this. I think you really want me to just get you out of this pickle without having to learn any kind of lesson to be punished. But the fact of the matter is that you threw out the person who was going to give a speech to your fiancé. But none of this even makes sense to me. I mean, you only have a high school diploma. When I saw that you had snuck into my wedding, I knew that it was because you were up to no good. That's why I had to kick you out the moment that I saw you. Rachel, for the last time, I was just as shocked to see you at this wedding as you were me. We haven't talked in eight years, and I really thought that was just going to go on forever. Why in the world do you think I would even want to sneak into your wedding? What do you think I would gain from that? Well, I mean, I, I just, I, I had no idea that you were actually a CEO. You should have told me that from the very start. What are you talking about? You were the one who for 10 years has been putting me down for my lack of education. You were the one who came to me all upset because you thought I wasn't invited and that I had snuck into your wedding. Even if I told you everything, it's not like you would have listened to me in the first place. Well, how was I supposed to know that you went and started your own company when we haven't even spoken in years? 
I don't know what you want me to say to that. You were the one that kicked me out of the house. You were the one that said you never wanted to talk to me again. And it was you who told me to leave your wedding and never ever come back. And now you want me to try and undo all the damage that you've been setting up for yourself for nearly a decade? Well, sorry, but you did this to yourself and it's not my job to fix it for you. The fact of the matter is that you caused this and this is all your fault. If people get mad at you for this, then I say more power to them. But I want you to know that I had no idea that you were Harry's fiance at all. Of course, now that I do know that, I just feel bad for him since it's clear you haven't changed at all. You mean you really didn't know? This was all just a coincidence. How many times are you going to make me repeat the fact that I was? I really wish you would wake up and quit trying to think that you're some kind of infallible superhuman or something. Honestly, I had no idea that you were getting married and even if I did know, I wouldn't care. The only reason I was there was to support an employee of mine. And the only reason I left was because the rude bride kicked me out. Please, I'm, 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 I'm sorry for everything. You're right. I've been a jerk and you haven't deserved any of this. But I really need your help right now. You have to come back here right away. I I'm begging you as your sister. Are you stupid or something? You and I are not sisters anymore. That ended when you kicked me out of the house eight years ago. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go back to my life, married with kids, and the CEO of a very successful company. Wait, what? You're married and you have kids? Are you kidding me? When did this happen? I really had no idea about any of this. Hello? Are you reading these messages anymore? Answer me, Ashley! After that, I heard that Harry decided to call the wedding off entirely. Needless to say, Rachel was just crushed when she heard that. Harry told me all of this later on at work. I reassured him that it wasn't his fault, and he reassured me that it wasn't mine either. In fact, apparently he was already having second thoughts about the marriage as he learned about the kind of person that my sister was. And I told him that he was probably dodging a bullet by doing this, and now that that's all over, I can finally go back to ignoring my horrible family and getting back to my amazing life without them. As for what Rachel did after the wedding, I really am not quite sure. I really hadn't kept up with her or my family for the entire time since she kicked me out of their house and my parents never did anything to stop her from doing so. Although years and years later, I heard through the grapevine a little bit of what had happened to her, Apparently, after her wedding to Harry was canceled, she fell into a pretty deep depression. She was so sure that nothing she could ever do could be wrong, and on that day she learned just how wrong she really was. Then the situation got so bad that she even stopped showing up for work. I heard that not long after that, she was fired and moved into a tiny apartment all by herself. As to what she's been up to with her life since then, well, I can really honestly say that I have no clue. And if I can do anything about it, I intend to keep it that way.